Good morning, my special MGM tribe, right? This is um, Friday morning, and so it is morning glory moments with Minister Mark. Um, today is the 8th of July, right? So semester two of 2022 is up and running, and I hope it is treating us um, much better than semester one did. Okay, so... Um, I want to thank God very much for this new day, for health, for providence, and all of that. And then I'm just going to share some little word and then pray. Um, so many wonderful things happening in my life, and I hope it's the same for you. And in everything, we we give thanks because we know where we can run to or where we are anchored and all of that. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I really want to thank you so much for this morning, for this other um, opportunity, right, to do this MGM with the tribe. It is only by your grace that I am doing all of this. Father, I couldn't imagine that I was going to be at this place in my life where I just talk about you with so much glee. And I have this wonderful and beautiful relationship with you. And I am just so assured and reassured that you are there. You are my rock and you are our rock. All those who diligently seek you. But I want to pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that we become more and more people who seek you diligently and who know that you are their rock and that your staff will comfort us and you will prepare a table before us and that you will anoint our heads with oil and that our cup will overflow thank you so much this morning for everything for our children our families our friends thank you for my king for my bishop thank you so much for all the angels on my path from all the angles I have been blessed, I thank you, Father. And I pray that the words that come from my mouth, as always, will help more people heal than hurt. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Fill us up with your amazing gifts. Help us. You are our paraclete. So we just cannot do without you. We need your comfort. Jesus, lead us to your Father. In your mighty name I pray. Amen. Okay, well, um, yes, lead me to the rock. This is Psalm 61 verse 1. <laughs> I just finished my prayer with a sentence and this is it, right? Lead me to the rock. Psalm 61 verse 1. That's the first passage I'm going to be sharing from. Uh, Hear my cry, O God, listening to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you. When my heart is faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. So I was reading from verse 1 to verse 3. Hear my cry, O God, listening to my prayer. And I just find it. I mean, we can, we, we probably and we should pray all day in our hearts everywhere. But when I just wake up in the morning, you know, when places are still dark, you're following the example of Jesus himself. And I just pray. It's like I have commanded my day. I just know that it's going to align you know, when they say all things work for the good of those who fear God and walk according to his precepts, I just, and that fear doesn't mean fear like he's going to beat you with a stick. It means reverence. It means, you know, honor him. And that's my word for this 2022. So when I do this, and, and for me, it's an act of love because, well, you know, getting up early in the morning, not everybody's a morning person and Yes, I would get up and spend my time with God, but I didn't want to be. I wasn't looking forward to doing this live, you know, spending 5, 10, 15 minutes live three times a week, leading people in prayer or in ministration and all of those things. I'm like, hey, Papa, you know how to set somebody up, oh, because this was not what you told me from the beginning. 
<laughs> like God has to tell me everything from the beginning. Who am I? Anyway, so um, yes, that's why I beg him. That's why I have to every morning remind him of his promises. That's why I say, hear me, hear my cry, oh God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I call you. I will call when my heart is faint. Even when it is not faint, I will call. Like when it's when you are weary and heavy laden, like Jesus says in Matthew eleven twenty eight to thirty, like come to me, all you are weary and heavy laden. On which other? What is the best way <clears throat> of coming to Jesus? Of coming to God? You know, it's prayers. Prayer is the master key. I mean, Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. He prayed. He prayed even on the cross. He said, "It is finished, Father." You know. So this, it is like it's an act of worship, communication. The way I communicate with this, I call him my Uga. Like I talk, I sit quiet, I listen. Sometimes he talks back, sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he laughs at me. You know, all of those things. But I just love that exercise. And I really pray that we can cultivate that. And encourage for those who have already cultivated that, right? So, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Of course, what am I doing with the rock that is my level? No, me, I want the one that is higher. So I know that when I get there, I am going to be protected, shielded, and all of that. I don't want the one that I'll be struggling to understand and figure out things on my own, whereas you're supposed to help me figure everything out. Okay. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Always, always, you know. That's why I, I talked about preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies there will always be enemies you think that what that the devil is not roaming he's roaming to steal kill and destroy so please put on the armor of god not only when trouble comes before actually you know and one way of doing this before you sleep you pray of course and when you wake up in the morning please pray 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 at all times okay so the next passage i um got is for today is Romans 15, verse 13. Let's go and see what Papa Paul <laughs> is telling us in Romans. I like to personalize all these people like this so that it's not um, like some, some people from somewhere talking to me. No, these are people that I love so I can listen to them and all of that. I think the feast of the something is tomorrow, so I'm trying to really be like them today my muslim brothers and sisters you know frankly speaking we have to live in peace with everybody right anyway romans 15 verse 13 says may the god of hope fill you fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the holy spirit you may abound in hope who doesn't want hope what are we going to do without hope in our lives and when you pray, it is with the hope they are going to be filled with more hope to continue to live, right? Because we are on this journey called life and you want to at least live it filled with hope that some good things and plenty good things will happen to you as you journey on so that at least you will not be like, I just came here to toil and toil and toil and, uh, and what was it all about? So, I really hope that uh, this uh, morning glory moment has contributed to filling you with hope. Please do read all those passages for yourself and don't hesitate to share and to join the community. Why not? My hope is that one day we have a community and people can take turns to lead in prayers and the sharing this just this just makes god proud the only way to please him is through our faith and how do we show him that we have this amazing faith in him by doing all of these kind of things i mean depending on how you are called and everything belonging to a community of you know workers in the vineyard believers and all of that is just so amazing Father God, I want to thank you so much this morning for this other opportunity to um, share these brief words with the tribe. And I thank you so much for those who are tuning in and for those who will watch later on the different platforms I will upload this on. I thank you for grace. I thank you for hope. 
Father, yes, I said I wanted to be the hope, the hope to the abuse and the battered, those who have been spiritually abused, those who, who were still finding their way, those who are still having a hard time believing in you, those who are still struggling in one way or the other. Father God, it's all about love and healing ministries here, Father. So this morning glory moments should be moments where people tune in, take a word, and maybe go back to sleep knowing fully well that you got your back. I really thank you so much for everything, Father God. And I know that you will answer our prayers because that is what you love doing. You love us so much. You don't want us to perish. You want us to live so that we can tell of your goodness. Because yes, you are proud of your creation. You want your creation to honor you. You want your creation to talk about you. You want your creation to share your good news. That's the good news, Father God. So help us all. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, our paraclete. Thank you so much for all the amazing examples that Jesus gave us in the Bible, especially in Mark 1, 35. That is such a good thing to wake up early in the morning when places are still dark and go to a desolate place. It might be anywhere, Father God, in our sacred spaces, in our rooms, in our closets, in our toilets. Why not, Father God? And just pray to you and say, Father, the dawn is rising. Thank you for this other day. Thank you for all what this day will bring. You are our rock and we fear nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have prayed. Amen. Okay, tribe. Well, we thank God for this. This is Friday. Have a funky Friday, as I like to say. I am sitting be, um, in front of Desiderata. You know, I, I, I printed it big and put it there. It used to be in my office. So I brought it home because I'm, I'm moving, right? Um, I've already given up the office. So go placidly, you know. Go placidly and miss the noise and hustle. After you have prayed in the morning like this and, 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 and handed over to God and said, Father, whatever comes my way today, I know you are my rock. Yes, we are reminded to go placidly and remember what peace there is in silence, especially when you have, uh, you know, you have already commanded your morning to the Lord in your um, quiet place and stuff like that. Okay, talk to you on um, Sunday, ministration, and then we resume MGMs next week, right? God bless us all.